my name is Ollie Todd. Uh, I work in Task Force Kindred and I'd like to introduce to you the Gravehawk air defence system which has been developed to support Ukraine. The 20-foot container includes a dual launcher for the A-11 R-73, a former Soviet air-to-air -air missile now under the control of Ukrainian armed forces. They sit atop a launcher from a Su-27 or MiG-29, a bespoke platform which can be raised and lowered into position ready for firing. As you can see, above us is a crane to enable to move these missiles which weigh over 100 kilos into position. The Gravehawk launcher system that we have created will use the air-to-air -air missile in a ground-based role. It's primarily designed to take out Russian drones, but will also take out other threats such as aircraft, helicopters uh, and also potentially cruise missiles. The A-11 missile, as you can see, it's an IR heat-seeking missile and it's a very powerful and effective missile that can get up to a, quite a significant range quickly. The A-11 is in the Ukrainian stocks in large numbers and therefore it's one of these capabilities which Ukraine will be able to sustain. The tracking system uses a very effective camera. It has both a thermal and normal optical sight and can identify targets well beyond the range of the actual missile itself and then it passes that information to the missile that can then continue to track separately while it then switches and focuses on a different target. In practice, the system here would be far away from the container itself, perhaps in a camouflage or concealed location to protect the operators. The system we think can be operated by a fairly small team, less than five people. The reload is by hand and would be a two-person lift to put new missiles into the system. We've transferred two systems to Ukraine already and we're in the process of developing and delivering a further 15 systems which we hope will be in Ukraine um, over the next year. We hope that this will be a very successful system which will be particularly effective to protect Ukrainian critical national infrastructure against the constant threat of drones and missile attack from Russia.